thanks everyone for coming. Let's start with the seminar and let's have Justin introduce our speaker today. Um, hi everyone, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Shinji Mukoyama. He uh, got his PhD at the uh, at Kyoto University uh, before holding the positions at uh, Victoria University, Harvard, uh, University of Tokyo before returning to Kyoto. Uh, university where he is currently a professor. So um, without further ado, Shinji, please. Yeah, thank you very much for the kind introduction. So the, actually this is my first visit to Lisbon and I'm um, having a great time. So thank you for having me. And uh, also I hope you did it as, uh, in Kyoto. <laughs> so today I'd like to talk about the investing inventory of our portfolio mission with the time and scale profile just on this box. And uh, here are my here are my my, my collaborators on this subject, and uh, this uh, this talk is based on main talk uh, based on these two 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 uh, uh, papers, and uh, hopefully this third one will come up uh, uh, this month or maybe next month, uh, depending on how 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 the work work. <laughs> okay, so let me let me start. So introduction. So this is somehow related to modified gravity. So, so let me explain why we are interested in uh, a gravity beyond zero. So there are at least three motivations. And the first one is the mystery universe, such as dark energy, dark matter, creation, big bang similarity, and the really cosmic variety field, and also tension. So if we can uh, replace some of those mysteries by modification gravity, that would be great. So that is the first, first motivation. And the second motivation comes from the uh, our aim to, to construct the uh, quantum gravity. So the superstring theory or Hodgkin's gravity, they are uh, some examples. Okay, so the, this is a kind of short distance modification. Right? So at least I think uh, many of us think that uh, at least we need to modify ZR at least at short distance, and maybe also at long distance. And uh, but maybe I mean there, there may be a possibility that ZR is correct at long distance and the dark energy and dark matter are real. And uh, even in that case, in order to prove it. By experiment or observation, I think uh, uh, we need uh, some strategy. And uh, in order to understand GR itself or, or prove that the GR is correct at long distance, I think one of the best ways is to, to break it and then deconstruct it. Namely, uh, one of the kind of uh, effective ways is to make uh, some prediction by, by modification gravity. So, I mean, we can make a prediction about observables and uh, then compare with the observation, then we can we can gradually improve the uh, uh, constraint on the deviation uh, of GR. Okay. In this way, uh, I think uh, at least uh, there are three motivations okay, to modify the GR, go beyond GR. And there are many examples, and these are some examples that I have been working on. And uh, I don't have time to explain all of them, but today I just I want to uh, talk about uh, this one, the effective theory approach. So this is a kind of uh, 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 IR modification so the long distance and long time scale modification of VR. And uh, our motivations are dark energy and also inflation. And uh, also the, this needs to have some universal description of physics. So the, that is a good point. And I will explain what I mean by universality here. Okay, so first uh, I'd like to start with the simplest uh, ESC of this time. Namely, the EFT on Minkowski background, then they extend it to the uh, background. The, the, this, uh, this, uh, everything uh, explained in this section is uh, uh, already known and nothing new, but uh, uh, as, as a kind of introduction to the South South, uh, South section, I'd like to do this. So, probably many of you know, already know this. Okay. So, the, uh, in this uh, talk, maybe I'll talk about the uh, scalar tensor theory. So, let me explain this. I mean, in this audience, I, I I don't need to explain this, but just just I just said the uh, warm up. Okay. So the uh, as, as as you can imagine from the name of this theory, so that we the gravity is described by metric and the scalar field, and it has a relatively long this long uh, history. So the starting with uh, Jordan in 1965, Abraham C.K. and so on, and uh, most of the general scalar tensor theory of gravity with second order covariant equation motion. Uh, was obtained by Ponzinski in 1974. And uh, more general theory uh, called DOS was found in uh, 2016. And uh, even more general one, uh, which we call DOS, 
was found in 2008. And uh, the nice thing about the EST is that uh, all of them and more, I mean, more general one, uh, universally described by infected TV shows. That is a good point. But uh, of course, there is a price to pay, and uh, we, we need to specify the background. For a given background, uh, all theories can be uh, described at once. But uh, if we change the background, we need to we need to change the EFT. Especially if the, the, the new background is outside the resume of the uh, previous EFT. So we need to construct two EFTs which we want, if we want to describe uh, consider two different backgrounds. Okay. But within one one uh, given background in the resume of value to EFT, uh, everything can be described by by, by one, one one description. That could be and uh, we we have a scalar tensor theory, so that we have a scalar, but uh, uh, scalar tend to be uh, uh, time like in cosmology. For example, uh, during inflation, the inflaton has a uh, uh, time rise to rise. Okay, so constant uh, phi surface, scalar, scalar constant scalar surface like, uh, like this, space like, and gradient in time. Okay. And also at rate time, the dark energy, the dark, dark energy is a uh, scalar field. Then the uh, scalar field should be homogeneous, almost homogeneous, and with a small, small uh, fluctuation. And therefore, the constant time surface is uh, space like and, uh, and the gradient is time again. Okay. So that's why I like to think about the uh, uh, effective field theory of scalar tensor gravity with time like scalar flow. So this is a bit why I, I like to think about it. As I mentioned, the EFT is, uh, uh, is universal. But uh, as I mentioned, the, 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 we need to specify the background. So the, the background that, that I'm interested in is this kind of time like scale. Okay. And uh, generally, we can construct the EFT of this kind by, by uh, these uh, four steps. I will explain later uh, step by step. But uh, the simplest one is uh, this uh, EFT on Mikoski background because Mikoski is the simplest background. <laughs> and uh, this, week, uh, this kind of EFT is called both one and same. Which I, I developed with the collaborators in 2004. Okay, so let me start with this. And I will explain each step by, by using this example. Then later, uh, we can easily extend this to, to cosmological background, orbital background. Okay, so let's start with uh, this uh, EFT of condensation. And uh, the, in this case, we uh, assume this uh, uh, assumption. Okay? So the backgrounds are characterized by uh, non vanishing. Uh, Derivative is theta, and I assume that this is constant and non vanishing and time -like, Okay, And uh, also the background in Minkowski because we are uh, interested in the, the EFT on Minkowski background as a simplest example. Okay. And, so, and, and also another assumption is this one. So after uh, putting this uh, ba background, non trivial background, we still want to uh, 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 preserve the time translational symmetry and the uh, time reflection symmetry. Okay, otherwise, uh, uh, particle physics uh, is uh, different from what we know. <laughs> so that we want to keep uh, time transition symmetry and the time reversal symmetry. Okay. Up to uh, shift of phi and uh, increase on of phi. Okay. Because this is the best we can do, because we, if we assume this kind of background, then the say phi is to time, I mean linear in time. Therefore, if we flip the time, then we need to flip phi also. And if we shift the phi, and uh, we need to see the uh, if we see the time, then we need to see the time. Okay? And that's the reason why we are doing this. But the bottom line is that we assume that the, the theory, I mean, physics is invariant and the uh, time translation and then we see this. Then, the, as I will explain now, the, uh, uh, the uh, effective action uh, for, for EFT is uh, written in this way, in a very universal way. Okay. By just assuming this kind of uh, symmetry breaking pattern, Everything is fixed. That I'm going to explain. So first, by 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 this uh, first assumption, namely that a derivative of scalar field is constant and time-like and non-vanishing, we can choose the time coordinate such that the scalar field agrees with time. Okay, and at all, not only at the level of the background, but but also at the level of the part of the uh, space. Okay, so the in this case, uh, in a sense, we set the scalar field. A perturbation of scalar field to be there. We sometimes call this the unitary gauge. So in, in this unitary gauge, the, the uh, residual symmetry is spatial difference. Okay. By, by, by changing a spatial coordinate to any function of time and space, uh, this uh, doesn't change. Therefore, this is a residual symmetry. 
but we cannot change time. If we do that, if we change the time, this is not in the so how this is interesting. So the strategy here is to write down most general action invariant like this symmetry. And then the, if you want, we can recover the, the 4D covariant by by introducing the so in a sense a number goes on bottom. In other words, we undo the integral. I, I will explain later this one. But let's do this part. Okay. So the we know uh, if you start from the, the uh Minkowski first time plus perturbation. Then the under uh, 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 infinitesimal phase uh, transformation, H mu nu transform like this. Okay. The mu is uh, infinitesimal uh, uh, force. Huh? And then the uh, this real symmetry is, of course, the uh, i generated by guzai i. Guzai is very position because this is a special. Okay. And then the under, under guzai i, H00 transform nothing. I mean, H00 is invariant. Because if it's says zero, 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 and only Guzai zero appears, but the Guzai zero is zero for our uh, issue So this is in line. Okay? And Guzai zero I, sorry, H zero I has one component. Uh, transformation of H zero I has one component. I the component has two, 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 two times. Okay? And therefore, we can use H zero zero in the action. Okay? Uh, let, let's follow this uh, uh, story. And then the so we can use H0 squared. The reason why I, 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 I squared H0 is that if we have a, 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 a term linear in perturbation, then the background is not a solution. Okay. And uh, so here, so the, the action should start with the quadratic order, since we are doing that the uh, flat space, Minkowski background is a good uh, solution. Okay. So we should start from second order in perturbation. So we can use H0 squared. And on the other hand, we cannot use H0i square because uh, H0i is not invariant. Okay. Also, we cannot use Hij square. But uh, as you can see from this uh, from these formulas, we can combine the spatial derivative of this guy and the time derivative of this guy to form uh, invariant components. This is invariant. Time derivative of Hij and the spatial derivative of, of, of this H0i. Okay. And this is nothing but so called sweet recovery, representing how a constant time surface is embedded in space time. And therefore, this is geometrical, and indeed, this is covariant constant, a covariant in, uh, in the sense of 3D uh, spatial. Okay. And because we are considering Minkowski background and solidly uh, Minkowski background, the background variable this is zero, therefore, uh, indeed, this is not only covariant but also invariant. Okay. So we can use this guy, and uh, again, we have to square. It. There are two ways of, uh, to square, it, and this is a, a square phrase, and this is the phrase of square. Okay, that's all. And therefore, the action can be written in this way: h zero zero square and k square and k i j k. I'm putting some some uh, numbers and uh, uh, introducing some dimension to and uh, uh, dimension uh, k plus dimension m. We have this kind of structure. And uh, on top of that, of course, we can include uh, uh, Einstein heavy reduction because Einstein heavy reduction is invariant and the 4D impure, including 3D impure. So we should include it. But on top of this, we have additional terms. That's what we have. And uh, there are, of course, the infinite number of terms. But uh, later, I, I'll show you that uh, uh, those, uh, those additional terms can be uh, ignored at the low end. <laughs> but for a moment, uh, let's consider these uh, three terms. And we can recover for this issue by introducing a number of bottom bottom or, or a slippery okay. In other words, we promote the broken, uh, uh, I mean, uh, generator of broken symmetry to the physical field. Then the, uh, by plugging this to uh, this formula, uh, we get uh, this one. Okay. So H0 transform uh, into this combination. And KIJ transform into this combination. So by just plugging this to here and this to here and here, we get this action. So this is how we can construct the uh, low energy effective uh, action. Sorry, so, yes. so why? Is, so in that that is uh, one over m square, alpha one over m square is blah, blah, blah. Why yeah. is that uh, K is uh, one over m, you know? Uh, K is a uh, uh, mathematical one. Yes, because this is this includes one. I mean, compared this is a depending on. I mean, suppose uh, 
Uh, yeah. H00 has metric perturbation has the dimension zero. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this uh, includes one derivative. Yeah. So the, this has a uh, mass mass one. No, one over. Uh, no, well, uh, this is dimension one. I mean, uh, I mean, energy and the time are uh, uh, inverse in each other. So that this is the time oh, okay. the so energy. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this must be one. Therefore, we divide yeah. by yes. That's why you say that the next terms are yes zero. Uh, yes, in high energy. Uh, oh, yeah, no, low, low energy. Low yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I, I will do it the more in a more more uh, systematic way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyway, we have this kind of structure. If we can ignore uh, those higher dimensional, I mean higher higher dimensional uh, operators. So let's let now show that they they, they they actually small at low energy. So in order to do that, uh, we can we can perform the so-called uh, I mean the uh, scaling analysis. So the but the, uh, let's consider the so-called decoupling where we can ignore at, at short distance we can ignore the the, the uh, metric part of it. So let's let's take this to be zero, this to be zero, this to be zero, this to be zero. So we have pi dot square. And uh, here we have a, a second spatial derivative pi square again here. Okay. So we have this kind of structure in the so called decoupling pi dot square and the uh, second spatial derivative pi square. And uh, scaling analysis uh, uh, is done by, by, by considering kind of scaling of, of, of uh, various uh, uh, dimensions of full quantity. So the, let's uh, multiply energy scale by r, some number r. So r is just number. And uh, dt uh, goes like uh, one over r because uh, of usual relation between energy and time. Okay. And uh, but uh, uh, dx goes like this because first, I mean, as I mentioned, we want to make this to be invariant and and the scaling. Okay. And here we have two time derivatives, and here we have four spatial derivatives. Okay. They must balance with each other. Therefore, the dx should be square root of dt. Therefore, we have a square here. We have a square root of this. In other words, never the r to the minus one, uh, uh, minus uh, one half. Okay. So then the plugging these three to here, and then the uh, then we can guess how pi should scale. Okay. In order to make this thing invariant, it turns out that this scaling is one copy. Okay. So as we energy as we lower energy scale. By, by multiplying by r, small small number r, pi, I mean amplitude amplitude will come to fraction pi, is like this. This is uh, different from usual case. Usually the mass dimension of uh, and the scaling dimension agrees. So the uh, in the relativistic theory, the, the uh, uh, scaling of energy and the scaling of scalar field is the same. But here different. One code. But yeah, anyway, actually, how do you get to the uh, well, how do you get from here to GR? Ah, so yes, so this is uh, this is kind of additional degree of freedom. So kind of uh, kind oh, of scale, yeah, fluctuation scale field, and scale field, uh, perturbation scale field scale in, behave in a different way as as the relativistic uh, uh, degree of freedom. Yes, if we if we consider this kind of scale factor, and then because we now know scaling dimension of, of everything, we can compute the scaling dimension, for example, this kind of thing. This should be here, and this is uh, would be a linear operator uh, at a, a non-linear operator, and uh, it turns out that this also this has a, I mean, a scale dimension one quarter. Anyway, that as we lower energy scale, the these two terms are I mean, always uh, uh, important, and because we demanded that uh, I mean this is invariant and scaling, so that they are always important. But uh, this feels like energy to one quarter. So as we lower energy scale, this becomes low and less and less important. Compared to we can repeat the same uh, arguments to any other operator, and they, they, all of them have a, have a positive scaling. Therefore, uh, at low energy, we can make a robust prediction. Namely, the leading two terms plus a small correction to the higher uh, dimension operator. So we have a good effective field theory, and make, we can make a robust prediction. For example, we can uh, derive the equation. Just uh, yes. one final question. So, yes. So you are, you are working with the assumption that you like on that's right. Yes. How good is that? Yes. yes so the, uh, 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 there are some some special solution and uh, yes, yes, yes. And uh, I will explain uh, a bit more general solution, including Minkowski. But uh, yes, and uh, so we are we are considering a special solution. But uh, 
I mean, the background is special, but uh, this uh, construction uh, it, it turned out to be very useful when we extend this to, to say, freedom and background and also the arbitrary background. And uh, I think this gives us a, a basis for this kind of thing. So the, in the end, we, we from this uh, symmetry related pattern, we had a uh, uh, same kind of uh, universal uh, uh, effective action. And at this point, you may wonder why we call this a, a ghost condensate because there's nothing, there's not, no, no, no ghost here. <laughs> so it's fine and uh, everything is fine. And, uh, but uh, initially, we started, we, we, are cons we are considering kind of analog mechanism in, in, in our gravity. And uh, so usually, usually in Higgs mechanism, the, the variable scalar field is considered on a parameter of symmetry breaking. And uh, therefore, we have a tachyon here. And instability, and then the, we end up with somewhere here, okay, where our first derivative is zero, second derivative is positive. But uh, in the ghost condensate, we consider the, the derivative of scalar field as the order parameter of symmetry breaking because we wanted to modify the gravity. And then the, we started to think about uh, this kind of uh, p dependence instead of potential. Then the, here we have a ghost, and we cannot live here, but we can live here. Or here, where first derivative is zero, second derivative is positive. That is the idea. The, and uh, because uh, here, I mean, tachyon condense to a uh, healthy background. So here, both condensate to, to the healthy background. That's why we call it both condensate. But uh, I mean, so from 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 uh, from this point of view, there is no ghost, and uh, we don't need to uh, think about uh, this kind of thing. I mean, we can just. Anyway, so that's the reason why we call it both condensate. But uh, and then this is just the EFT of a uh, sphere density gravity with time like sphere profile on Minkowski background. And then let me uh, extend this to a uh, uh, cosmological background. And uh, this extension was, uh, I didn't do this. <laughs> and this extension was done by these people, uh, Paolo and uh, Marcus and uh, Alberto and, uh, and Leonardo and other people. And uh, so the, let me let me do this. Let me review this. Okay. So the, this is uh, often called the EFT of inflation or EFT of Darwin. Okay. Uh, done by this uh, extension of done by these people. And the idea is uh, exactly the same. Okay. So the uh, the, the we want to uh, construct effective action invariant on the Alice symmetry, which is special difference. Okay. And uh, but uh, here uh, first we want to construct the EFT in a nonlinear way and completely nonlinear way. They apply to 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 uh, this uh, uh, freedom and okay. So the uh, ingredients here is uh, the metric and inverse of the metric for the curvature and the covariant derivative. On top of these usual ingredients, we can use time here because time is invariant under this. We change only the special spatial coordinate. Time is uh, unchanged. Therefore, this is uh, I mean, invariant under this. And also, we can use time deri a derivative of this okay. The first derivative is just a chronical delta. And from chronical delta, I mean, but, but the zero is the upstairs. Okay. And from chronical delta, we can construct, for example, g zero zero upstairs by contracting this with uh, twice with uh, this one. Or uh, yeah, this one. And uh, also, we can construct a vector and link the vector normal to the constant time surface by just normalizing. Okay. And here, g zero zero. Okay. And the chronical delta here. Yeah. And also, we can construct a 3D matrix uh, uh, on, on constant time surface. Okay. That's it. So, from first derivative, we have, have this uh, algebraical constant. Okay. From second derivative of time, we can construct a sense curve. Okay. So, this is a, a nonlinear extension of what I wrote down. Okay. KIJ. KIJ uh, that I wrote down is just a linear, linear order, but this is. So we can use these uh, ingredients. In other words, the action is, uh, that is invariant and the special detail is just a uh, uh, still are made of uh, these quantities integrated over space time. That's it. This is totally uh, fine and uh, uh, invariant for two d detail. <laughs> and, uh, but this is too general to be useful and uh, we want to uh, make it uh, uh, useful by, by performing the derivative expansion and the uh, part of the expansion. And uh, I, I don't have time to explain this, but uh, so that uh, we end up with something like this. 
So that this is a 4D curvature. This is a function of time. And uh, this is the uh, here because we can use this one. This one. And uh, various one. A nice thing about uh, uh, expansion around uh, this Friedman background, homogeneous isotopic background, is that uh, this, for example, uh, this perturbation G00 is just a G00 plus one because G00 at, uh, uh, on, on the background, if we choose uh, proper time or complete time, then uh, uh, this is just a uh, uh, number. Therefore, this uh, perturbation uh, is also a uh, building block. This quantity belongs to uh, this uh, building block. Okay? And also, the KI perturbation of KIJ can be written this way. If we, yeah, so because, ah, sorry, I, I maybe I, I changed the notation, but yeah, so the gamma should be this one. Okay? So the 3D, 3D metric, and H is considered as a function time. Okay? So we can use time and also 3D uh, metric. Therefore, this is also building block. So the, Perturbation of KIJ is also building block. Therefore, uh, this is this expanded uh, version is also the uh, kind of uh, 3D field environment. The same way for for uh, for uh, color. Anyway, this becomes important when we try to extend this kind of construction to arbitrary platform, as I will explain later. So far, no. Yes, but we can we can easily do that. Yes. As I will explain uh, in maybe two or three slides later. Yeah, good question is answered in, 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 in a few slides later. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so that, yeah, so after after obtaining uh, action in the user gauge, we can uh, we can recover uh, the for the field by introducing number bottom bottom, namely uh, just replacing a uh, key by this combination, and the pi is uh, number bottom okay. by replacing this uh, kind of thing. Here we get uh, 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 for the uh, different invariant action. And uh, if you want, we can take the so-called uh, recovery limit where we ignore metric patterns. And then we have this kind of action for pi. In other words, uh, uh, this, uh, is, uh, this can be used as a uh, action for inflaton perturbation at the short distance, I mean, the subhorizon. Well, so this formula is assume some coordinate for the background. Right, yes, yes. Right, this is a, a background. So, that this uh, formalism is developed and the Friedman background. And uh, yes, yeah, so the so homogeneous so size. So, for so you have G naught now. Do you have? Yeah. Right, yes. yeah. Can you express this in any coordinates that I wish? Or? Uh, yeah, so we, we can we can, we can can change change the time, uh, say, say uh, cosmic time to, to say, yeah, uh, uh, conformal time. Yes, as far as uh, um, constant time surface homogeneous and isotropic at the level of the background. But the introducing perturbation uh, breaks uh, this uh, uh, homogeneity and isotropy at the background level. And uh, yes, anyway, we get this kind of action for perturbation in the, in the recovery limit. And uh, so uh, this first line uh, has is uh, second order in pi. And the uh, important quantity is uh, this uh, quantity you see here, what is called the uh, term scheme. So indeed, uh, from these two terms, the for WKB type uh, answer, we have this kind of uh, dispersion ratio. So CS indeed uh, controls the speed of propagation for high frequency. And this quantity becomes important because uh, uh, when we consider nonlinear perturbation, because this quantity appears not only here but also other places. So this is a, a good point of uh, EFT uh, because the structure of um, this kind of action is completely fixed by the symmetry breaking pattern. Okay. As a result, defined coefficients uh, have some relation, non trivial relation. So, indeed, uh, this uh, uh, formal EFT representation has been used to compute the uh, proper assignment of inflationary perturbation. And uh, as I mentioned, first line as uh, uh, is uh, each term is second order in pi. Therefore, we can compute first term from here. And the second line uh, includes uh, uh, terms with nonlinear non uh, terms and nonlinear in pi. Therefore, we can compute non assignment from second line. For example, there are only two terms that are cubic in pi. 
Okay, this is surprising. And so the in general, uh, index could be many other terms, and also the, the coefficients are, are kind of uh, uh, related to each other. For example, this one has a new 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 uh, parameter C three, but this coefficient of this term is completely fixed by C F here, C F here. Which was which was was already uh, appearing in the second order, and uh, also the background links. Okay, so the uh, defined terms and uh, coefficient of defined terms are related to each other because of symmetry of the part. Anyway, so because uh, I mean this, uh, 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 there, there are two terms uh, take a third order in pi. There are uh, two types of three point interval. So this leads to two types of uh, three point uh, three point. Uh, Correlation function. Namely, that when we compute the bispectrum in this, and, uh, and this coefficient is, uh, is what we are using. I mean, that this delta function comes from the momentum conservation. And uh, then the, this coefficient uh, has uh, two contributions one from uh, this one, and one from. And each coefficient, this one, is uh, uh, given by this, and uh, this one. And what is interesting is that uh, when CF becomes small, this becomes large. Okay. Therefore, the CF controls the size of the number chain. On the other hand, as, as I mentioned, there, there is another parameter, C3. This controls the shape of the number chain. I mean, let me explain what, what do I mean by shape of the number chain. Okay. So here we have a, a data function. Therefore, the three, three uh, spatial vectors should form a triangle. And uh, if we fix the overall size, then the, the shape of a triangle is uh, uh, fixed by two parameters. Because, uh, I mean, just a ratio of three, ratio made, uh, ratios made of three numbers, so that we have two, two, two parameters. Okay. So that this axis and this axis correspond to these two numbers. And uh, uh, the, this horizontal axis corresponds to the size of number in any with uh, axis. And then the uh, if, if we take C3 equals zero, we have this kind of shape. This is uh, uh, the prototype of the equilateral shape. And if we set C3 to this particular value, then this is the prototype of the orthogonal shape. And for other value C3, actually any value of C3, the, the, the shape is in a combination of these two. And therefore, I mean, as I mentioned, there are only two shapes. Okay? If we uh, if we use uh, assume the sy symmetry breaking pattern like this, and uh, use the uh, subhorizon physics and also Banshee Davis type uh, logic. Okay. So, the, but uh, if we didn't know this kind of EFT, then maybe we can try many different uh, inflationary models, compute the uh, bi spectrum, and, and we can easily find two shapes. But uh, uh, people try to find third one, never find, never, never be able to find third one. And at some point, maybe people start wondering I mean, why. <laughs> but it's very difficult to prove that there are no, no third one. But we, because of this EFT, we can immediately show that there are only two. Okay. That is a, a strength of this kind of EFT. The symmetry breaking pattern completely fits uh, the structure uh, uh, action and uh, uh, also correlation function. That's good point. Okay. And, yes. and uh, so far, I talked about uh, high inflation, but we can consider uh, applying this to the end. Okay. This answers the mass of equation. So that at the rate time we have matter, therefore we need to specify the, the, the frame where the, the, the conformal frame where a matter couple. Okay. During inflation, it doesn't matter because uh, um let me go back. Because we can set uh, this coefficient to be constant by conformal transformation, because we are interested in just uh, uh, correlators of uh carbon separation and uh, tensor perturbation that are invariant and uh, conformal transformation. So just for convenience, we can go to the frame here. But uh, at the rate time, it's not the case because they are a matter. And uh, so we need to specify the, the, the conformal frame where a matter happens uh, directly to. For this reason, we have the, uh, I mean, the, this uh, another real function in front of the body okay. This is the only difference. Otherwise, everything the same. I mean, fundamental relation is defined, but the basic idea is the same. We just wrote down, write down the, the, the all terms that are consistent with residual symmetry. And if you want, we can introduce another one to restore the body. That's all. So let me summarize so far. The last one. 
some equation in the describe all scales in the theory of gravity, this time like scale profile, I mean, of people can respect in time transition and time reflection theory up to shift of scale or reflection scale. Then, extension of Gauss condensate to uh, homogeneous isotopic cosmological background resulting in the ESP equation and ESP lines. These ESPs provide universal description of all sphere tensor theories of gravity with time like sphere profiles on each background, including congesty, dose, yieldon, and the more. So, this is the a, 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 a end of uh, this section. So, uh, before going to uh, section uh, if you have a question please right right on the on the microscopy background yes yes but it, it, it's easy to generalize if you want i mean for example here i, I assume that uh, i included h0 square and the k square but if we uh, don't assume that this is time reflection symmetry then that we can include h0 k for example then that can include a, a cubic value if you want. Yes. Is it fair that if I choose some generic initial data and then I set, uh, then they initial motion for the gradient of your 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 Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. It's a good question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the yes, so here I'm assuming that the, 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 the gradient is timeless everywhere in the in the region of interest. And uh, if the 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 the, the, uh, the background deviates too much from the, the assumed uh, background, then the, we exit the regime of values of EFT. We need to use defined thing. That's all. I mean the the the, the, the basic idea of EFT is uh, we, we assume some background and then the construct the construct the uh, uh, action. And there is some, some, I mean, so that uh, say, say, uh, some, 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 say in this case, in the case of both condensate, I introduce a scale M. So that if the, say, the amplitude of perturbation or uh, momenta or energy become larger than M, then we exit the regime of variety. We cannot trust anything. We need to develop a new, new EFT. Or we need to go back to uh, more fundamental theory. See how you can develop any hmm? so the description in. One of the assumptions that goes into the yeah. is that the gradient of t is finite, right? That's a that's a physical yeah, yeah, yeah. Physical, so, physical, so, physical, physical, physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so yeah. Yeah. You know, what would you do then? Right? If, if yeah. gravity fails to be finite. Yeah. Then, then we we just forget about the EFT. We go back to more more fundamental theory. Okay. That that's what 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 okay. you usually. Yeah, for example, if we, we if we compute something by gr, then the Say we end up with a singularity. Of course, we don't trust GR. We go back. We go back. We, if we have something quantum gravity, we go back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, similar here. Okay. So let's go on to move on to the general general EFT. Uh, I mean EFT and the general background. So the okay. So uh, the motivation is this one. Okay. So the uh, I think cosmology and black holes are uh, important because they may play play a similar role. Maybe. As the black body radiation as an atom in, in quantum mechanics. And in cosmology, as I mentioned, the time like a time dependent scalar field can act as dark energy, while black holes serve as four of some dark. So we then hope to learn something about if you dark energy by black hole. That's the motivation. Okay. So here you dark energy and the gradient. <laughs> and uh, uh, we want to we want to learn something about dark energy. From black hole or vice versa, but this requires the time of scalar field profile to be <laughs> near black hole. Okay. If you want to run something about the ESP gravity from from black hole, so let me explain this. Okay, so this is the horizon, and if we have consider black hole from the gravitational crops, we don't need this one, but at least we need, it. and then. In the uh, unlikely case, from the point of view, view of uh, this aim, we want to learn. We want to learn something about the uh, EFT dark energy from from that point. Okay. And uh, in this respect, this is the unlikely case. Okay, uh, universe may, may may be like this, <laughs> but in that case, uh, you, this is just unlikely. Okay. So for the for example, so the, uh, in this case, uh, the gradient is straight like 
and the constant constant phi surface is like this. Therefore, we cannot connect a computer of phi. We cannot do this because the value of phi here and here defined. That is the same. So we cannot connect, and there is no no smooth matching. And uh, but this this may be okay because I mean because uh, they, they are totally different uh, scales and uh, different regions. But uh, more 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 uh, 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 difficulty is uh, comes from the following part. So the suppose that the, we have uh, 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 some e e action, suppose we have some some function of x where x is uh, g minus g phi g phi, and uh, and in the for dark energy, say the x is uh, uh, positive, and I'm talking I'm, I'm considering minus plus 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 sign for the metric, and the x must be positive, and uh, for example, say x may stay here for the cosmological region. And on the other hand, uh, if the, uh, the the gradient is space like in a black hole, then the x must be negative here. And if the t is uh, linear, then it's okay. I mean, everywhere, everywhere just uh, t is linear x, and it uh, doesn't matter where here or here. But uh, if p of x is uh, some complicated function, then the Taylor expansion around this point and Taylor expansion around this point have no, have, have no relation. So that, of course, if we know infinite number of Taylor coefficients, then we can recompute. <laughs> but that's not realistic because we can measure only a, 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 a finite quantities with a, a, a finite precision. Therefore, the the best we can do is to have a finite number of Taylor coefficients from observation of our data. And we, then we cannot reconstruct, and we cannot predict the Taylor coefficient of this guy and the Taylor coefficient. Of this guy. And EFT is not, basically nothing but the Taylor expansion, <laughs> almost like that. So the uh, the best we can do in this case is to construct EFT for this background, EFT for, for, for this background, they, they, they are totally unrelated. Unless we know some UVC, like a quantum gravity. If we know quantum gravity, we can derive this one, we can derive this one. Through quantum gravity, we can we can relate. But uh, we don't know quantum gravity, therefore they are unrelated. Okay. On the other hand, in the lucky case where a uh, gradient is time like then the first of all we can hope to learn, hope to hope to match this um, uh, contour of the field. Of course, I mean the, I mean in this region there's a galaxy and the cluster of galaxies and this yeah, this is too 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 uh, too uh, optimistic. But at least when we talk about the P of X, the value of X here and the value of X here may be similar. In this case, we can just say expansion of this function on this point, and a small number of Taylor coefficients can tell us about both systems. Okay. That is the reason why we want to construct this kind of view. Okay. So if you scale the variety, it's kind of like a uh, scalar profile on general background. But this is not so straightforward for the following reason. Okay, we, know, we already know this kind of action from the intermediate step to construct the EFT limitation or EFT that is. But uh, when we Taylor expand on the given background, then each term is not combined <laughs> under three D. Okay. So all the action is invariant under three D but each term is not because background is not invariant. A background value is not uh, 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 ingredient in that. So, we want to promote this coefficient to the arbitrary function because we want to construct EFT with uh, uh, some some parameters or I mean the free functions, but we cannot uh, promote this, this coefficient to this free function. If we do that, then the uh, action is not uh, invariant under three degrees. The solution that we found is uh, turned out to be simple, and uh, we just need to import consistency. Okay, so the uh, consistency relation can be obtained from the simple chain rule, okay. undergraduate uh, mathematics, okay. first year. <laughs> so, suppose, so this f is a background value of uh, this quantity, I mean, which, which appears here at the first term. And if we compute the spatial derivative, then the f bar, f is a say, function of this quantity, for example, function of uh, g, g uh, sorry, tau, tau, tau is the g0 zero zero, and the g0 derivative with respect to g0 zero and uh, multiplied by derivative of g0 with respect to xi 
plus uh, derivative of f respect to k and uh, multiplied by derivative of k respect to k and so on. This is just a same rule. But what is important is that this quantity appears in the EFT action. This also appears here. And uh, this also appears here. Therefore, this gives us non trivial relation among different coefficients in the EFT. Yeah. Uh, by the way, this is given by uh, completely fixed by the background component. So that we have, and also we can repeat the same thing for, for this coefficient and the other coefficient. Therefore, we have infinite number of uh, consistentization. As far as we import the consistentization, then the, everything is fine and the, uh, 3D, uh, 3D difference is done. So, the, uh, yeah. This consistentization ensures the spatial different invariance and the Taylor coefficients satisfy the consistentization, but are otherwise fine. In this way, we constructed the EFT of uh, 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 scale tensor gravity with time like gradient in arbitrary time. So, EFT action becomes complicated because we have more terms than the EFT of inflation or uh, EFT of dark energy, but uh, it, we can, and this is a split for the basic step in the. And uh, also, we can introduce time number from bottom or a specific team to restore for the detail. And uh, also, we can obtain the dictionary between EFT coefficient and the complete theory. For example, we have a dictionary for 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 uh, Bondesky, you uh, those and you those and so on. So the once we give some constraint on some 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 coefficient, then the, we can give a constraint to many theories at once because we have dictionary, like a PPM for the solar system gravity. And uh, uh, also, this can be applied to black hole with time like a scale profile, and this can be, I mean, may serve as a bridge between uh, theories and uh, observation. So, in this way, we uh, started with the EFT on <coughs> background, then cosmological background, then constructed the uh, EFT on algebra. We call it the EFT on black hole perturbation because we didn't have, we didn't uh, come up with any other application. So if you have any ideas of application on this, then we may need to change the name. <laughs> but so far, we, we have only um, application to black hole perturbation. That, that's why we call it the EFT on black hole then the, uh, maybe I need to explain why, why I mean the existence of this kind of background. <laughs> so the black hole, black hole with the time like scale. As a special case, of course, we have a black hole with the, I mean no Minkowski with the time like scale. So let me explain this. So the, let's consider as a, a simple case the uh, uh, so-called steel solution in KSN. So the, we consider I say reduction plus uh, P of X, where X is just minus V by V pi. And the uh, equation motion is as uh, simple as this. So we have this equation uh, for, for equation motion for pi, and this is Einstein's okay. equation. And uh, suppose that uh, P prime has a root, say X not, X not is some constant. And uh, if we said, if we can find the configuration of pi such that X is X not, then on that background, P prime is zero. Therefore, this equation is clearly satisfied. And this is zero. And this is constant. Therefore, this is like a, a Einstein equation with the cosmological constant. Okay. Uh, if you want, we can, we can add a bare cosmological constant to cancel it so that we can have also the Einstein equation without cosmological constant. Anyway, so the, uh, given uh, uh, any uh, real solution with or without cosmological constant, if we can find Solution of phi that satisfies x equal x not that we okay. and uh, indeed this is easy because this is equivalent to saying that uh, this vector uh, d mu phi defines the elliptic component. We can compute this quantity acceleration, it turns out to be zero if x is constant, and therefore uh, this defines Gaussian normal code. So any solution of GR. Uh, uh, has uh, say say suppose we have some hypersurface, and then send the geodesic perpendicular to this. We can construct the Gaussian normal coordinate. We can measure time, and uh, uh, phi is proportional to time. And the uh, over course over uh, factor uh, defines this. Now. So in this way, we can easily construct the solution. For example, the uh, yeah, so to our symmetry, admit the global globally defined Gaussian normal coordinate. 
which is coordinate to the metal mechanical frame. In this coordinate, the solar cell metric looks like this. This is uh, this looks different from solar cell, but it is, this is just solar cell. They are finding coordinate. And tau equal constant is very nice. And r equal constant. And this, and this coordinate covers including the, the asymptotic region and also uh, inside. Of and then we can set phi to be proportional to this time, time in both Dachshund and coordinate. Then that is the exact solution in case this is what I found to find phi. And uh, after that, uh, many people extended this so that as well as the dodi time on this theory, and so as you do in those, those, how do you find those, and so on. But unfortunately, perturbations around most of those of the solutions that we keep from couples are pointed out by these people, which means that we cannot trust these solutions. On the other hand, in this uh, same paper, I constructed uh, not only this state solution cases, but also the uh, approximate state solution in God's condensate. In that case, uh, nothing wrong happened. and. Uh, Approximately state solution in both condensate does not suffer from this strong coupling. And what's going on here? That's the question. And uh, answer is very easy. Uh, uh, so that we know that uh, this uh, Minkowski background, so we, we are talking about black hole background, but far away from black hole, this black, I mean, the system approach to Minkowski. So that uh, it's relevant to talk about Minkowski background. And uh, so, uh, yeah, state of Minkowski is nothing but both condensate. And, in this case, we have shown that uh, this version relation is like this. We have a pi dot square and uh, uh, second special derivative squares. Therefore, omega square is proportional to the case of universal. We don't have a, a usual gradient term like a, a first special derivative square because we are forbidden to include h zero i square. Okay. That is forbidden by symmetry. If we could include h zero i square, we would get the uh, uh, usual gradient term, but it's forbidden by symmetry. So by symmetry, without uh, without uh, doing any any concrete concrete calculation, we can show that uh, omega squared is equal to the four. And uh, in this case, I mean, uh, but on the other hand, if we consider say for example those, then the equation motion for perturbation are strictly second order after solving the constraint. And uh, apparently, the dose has the uh, equation motion for those has the higher, higher derivative terms. But after removing the uh, uh, non dynamical variable, we have typical degree you know, uh, follows the uh, second order equation. And in this case, this is zero. This is fourth order. Therefore, in this case, omega square equals zero. That sounds very, very unhealthy. <laughs> Indeed, uh, uh, for, for this kind of discussion, mutual expansion relation, strong coupling scale goes like this, it goes to zero. And therefore, the, the we cannot trust anything if we use the dose. But uh, in ghost condensate, everything fine, and uh, and so coupling case is, is uh, order m. So indeed, the uh, typical coupling is strong uh, at this scale. So if alpha is order one, uh, nothing will happen uh, up to up to scale. Okay. And uh, what 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 to do with the dose? Okay. So we propose in this paper we propose what we call the score natural. And uh, uh, borrowed this name and borrowed from some some physical world in music. I'm not playing any instrument, but uh, I had to propose this. <laughs> and uh, people, I mean, uh, intentionally they tune the instrument to get the very better performance, and that is called solar. Here, uh, so we we detune the degeneracy condition of those, and then the, we get this uh, again the universal dispersion that was uh, predicted by those condensate. And uh, this applies the strong coupling here to, to order n. And if the amount of the tuning is not too large, actually order one up to order one in the, in the scale of cutoff, then the apparent ghost is heavy enough to bring the result. And we call it slow lecture, uh, namely the weekly and control the tuning of the system. And this score lecture ghost, the allied is ghost condensate in a scale solution, why it behaves as uh, exactly like those. Away from. Okay. And uh, probably I, I need to skip this. And uh, yeah. so approximately, uh, uh, the solution in uh, both communities, also the Scordatia dose, it has a very slow uh, time dependence because of accretion or perturbation of phi. 
and uh, but it's very slow and uh, the constraint from this uh, three bi three, uh, binary is uh, very weak compared to other constraints coming from something else. So let me summarize uh, say it's black holes in time as uh, profiles. And uh, so yes, maybe I already explained this. And uh, so approximately the filtration because common phase is more general, uh, more general force as also studied in this paper. So please have a look at this paper if you are interested in. And uh, this they are basically scales at the top of scale and without uh, without uh, 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 strong coupling for and uh, I don't know whether whether we need uh, or we don't need screening because background uh, metric is exactly like GR, and uh, but the, we, we are studying perturbations around it. And uh, this is how we the next section, but probably I need to skip. Was that yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah, but I just want to show the uh, recent results. But uh, yeah, we computed uh, uh, so quicker normal more frequency, <coughs> and uh, so. In the case of uh, uh, space, exactly space black hole, the quasi-normal uh, frequency, more, more frequency is uh, like a GR value multiplied by this. And this is controlled by the uh, some, some, uh, speed of propagation direction wave. So that when we set this to be one, we go back to GR for all the perturbation. For even perturbation, we don't know. But for all the perturbation, uh, exactly like GR, up to over alpha. The speed of propagation may be defined near black hole, and although it, it should go back to one in the acid region. And also, the as a kind of uh, toy example, we studied the uh, quasi more mode frequency of Hayward metric, metric, which is not near black hole. And uh, in this case, uh, we have some deviation. So, this if we set sigma to be zero, we have uh, a GR I mean, the two metric. And this agrees with the yeah, this is real part and this imagine part of question number one frequency in all the parts. And uh, away from uh, sigma equals zero, we have deviation. We compute it uh, by using direct uh, integration and also the uh, river method and also final approximation to fit the uh, fit uh, this uh, I mean uh, fit uh, this one. And they they, they agree very well. Anyway, anyway we, this this justifies our, our numerical. Uh, computation by direct integration. Anyway, we have uh, some deviation from the okay. So the yeah, so far we study the background and uh, all the parity perturbation, obtain the generalized regular equation. So the uh, regular potential is modified from GR in a parameterized way, and uh, we have uh, we computed the quasi normal mode frequency, and uh, we want to study of course even parity perturbation because this includes scalar field. And but this is more complicated, so we are, we are still, still working. <laughs> and which uh, works may include the rotating black holes and the black hole with clear accretion, and uh, also black formations and so on. And uh, there are many things to do. And uh, let me summarize. Yeah, I think all will be explained this. So we constructed this with clear integrality, a standard clear profile on arbitrary black. And then the, uh, we apply this to black hole with the scalar field latency. And uh, other application, if, we, if there are other applications, maybe we need to change the uh, name of VFT from ESP black hole perturbation to something else. <laughs> but uh, that would be nice. And also, we can extend the web of uh, ESP furthermore. For example, in this paper, we studied, uh, we constructed ESP with the extra theory. That can describe all vector tensor theory uh, in sigma background. So the, here, uh, I will mean, explain that uh, the ghost condensate can be extended to, from, from Minkowski to uh, Friedman background to obtain EXP inflation and EXP dark energy. But uh, this uh, ghost condensate can be, uh, I mean, can be used to construct uh, what we call the gauge of ghost condensate by just gauging shift symmetry, making shift symmetry from the Global symmetry to local symmetry, we have a gauge growth from the state. These are the vectors. And then the, by, by, by extending this from Minkowski to Friedman, we, we obtain the EFT vector tensor theory. They are also related to each other by first uh, important shift symmetry. We have a shift symmetric scale tensor theory. By gauging shift symmetry, we get this. 
and also we can go back by decoupling and uh, stop the breaking system. So we have nice way of dealing with it. And uh, yes, thank you very much. Here are my questions. Thanks very much for the talk. So we have run out of time, but the intercom will be set a few minutes. Maybe we can take one minute for one quick question maybe for the speaker. Any questions? No, yeah, okay. Yeah, this one or this one? This one? Ah, yeah, so in this competition, we assume the alpha three is constant and doesn't depend on space, uh, I mean, position. And therefore, the, we just have uh, this formula. And uh, if we set the some, some um, fraction of speed to be one, then we recover GR. And but but uh, we can imagine that alpha three may, may depend on position. In that case, uh, I, we didn't perform that, that kind of computation, but uh, I expect to have some deviation in that case. Uh, a quick thing. Yeah. So, yes. when you're doing the spell plot, or what, what, what exactly do you do? Say, like, in the even sector. Uh, even sector. That, 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 yeah, that's that's uh, more difficult. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, even perturbation is more difficult. Indeed, the first, of course, the, I mean, the even sector includes not only the graphing waves, but also scalar field. And also the this problem. Yeah, this one. Um, yeah, this one. Yeah. Perturbation. If we yeah. don't include the uh, this scalar term, then the perturbation scalar field is strongly coupled. So we cannot trust the uh, perturbation theory. Therefore, we need to include the uh, scalar term. Of course, both condensate has a scalar term, and also the EFT or black hole perturbation includes the the, the uh, uh, scalar term. But the treatment of that term is more more subtle, and uh, I mean not subtle, but be, be, be complicated. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so the, we need to take into account that, that it's, uh, yeah, so scalar terms. That is what we are doing, it's trying to do. <laughs> yeah, it's more complicated. Yes. Yeah, but there is no date. Hmm? There is no date. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, no date. Yeah, this one has a date. This one has a date. I don't know. Hopefully, yeah, but maybe next year. I don't know. Yeah, unfortunately, we've run out of time. So, thanks a lot for the talk. Thank you for the talk. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe.